Wongani is 18 months old and is struggling for life. His body is swollen from malnutrition and infection. His mouth is full of thrush. He's acutely anemic and his skin is peeling. He was born with HIV, but only recently diagnosed. He has now started a cocktail of three antiretroviral medicines, or ARVs. If he can survive for long enough, these will suppress the virus. But he is already very sick. Without treatment, most babies with HIV die before their second birthday. So having medicines in a form suitable for Wongani and his grandmother is very important. In the past, anti-HIV medicines for children only came in syrups, totally unsuited for the remote villages where children like Wongani live. Syrups are bulky, making them difficult to store and transport, especially as some need refrigeration. They can pose a serious hygiene risk for small babies, so they were never used in much of Africa. Instead, carers had to cut adult pills into quarters and then somehow persuade babies to swallow the beta medicine, making accurate dosing impossible. Which is why the baby tablets were developed. They are much more user-friendly. They can be crushed, dissolved or snapped in two. The same pills can be used throughout childhood. Now you give them the correct dose, which is easier, which was previously difficult. The other thing, the advantage is that the mother is easier to give them. Even they can use the breast milk to dissolve the tablet. So I think it's very important. It's not as difficult as the previous one. The CHAPAS clinical trials show the baby tablets to be safe, effective and easy to use. Different combinations of ARVs have been tested out. The findings are very encouraging. They show that as long as children take the medicines, they do very well. Wongani certainly did. During the months after starting treatment, his smile slowly came back as his immune system rebounded. He took his first steps towards health. For the last four years, his grandmother has given him the baby pills every day. Sometimes when he was small, he refused to take the medicine, so I would crush the pills with his food and hide them. But then he got used to it, and now he even reminds me that I must give it to him. It isn't hard to remember. I just think back to how sick he was before he started to take the medicines. Today, Wongani is an active and healthy five-year-old. Just one of hundreds of thousands of children across the world using the baby pills. They are children with every prospect of a long and healthy life.